Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today we're gonna to be going over the best settings for the Wooting 60 HE V2. Let me preface this by saying that most of these settings are going to be personal preference, but there are some settings you should definitely turn on. So let's get right into it here. When you plug in your Wooting 60 HE V2 for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to go over to wootility.io. This is the web-based software that Wooting uses where you can configure all of the settings for your keyboard. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. But when you first go to utility.io, you should see something like this after connecting your keyboard. And that is going to be choosing your arrow key layout. So obviously if you're on a 60H EV2, you're not gonna have traditional arrow keys, which is why you can choose different forms of activating the arrow keys. You have the bottom FN layer. This is where you hold the function key. And then these keys next to it will act as the arrow keys as you're holding function down. But the next one is my personal favorite, which is the mod tap arrows. And that is basically going to make these four keys right here your arrow keys. If you tap on them, if you hold them down, they will act like the regular keys. But if you tap on them, they will be acting like arrow keys, which is my preferred method. And then finally, if you like your arrow keys on WASD, you can do this one where if you hold the caps lock, it will turn your WASD into arrow keys. So I'm just going to choose that and then click next step. First things first, before we change any settings, what you want to do is go over to the settings tab here, go over to updates, and then just click on check for updates and make sure that you're on the latest firmware for your keyboard. Next, you're going to go over to general settings here. And now we're going to make sure that we're on 8,000 hertz polling rate. This is going to give you the fastest performance on paper. And if you bought a 60H EV2, you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. So just make sure that you're turning on 8,000 hertz polling rate. If you have a lower end PC or if you're just having stuttering issues in general, you can try changing this to 1,000 hertz and see if that helps. That's pretty much all you need to change in the general settings. Everything else you can leave on the default. And now let's get into the meat of the settings here. You're going to head over to the left and click on keyboard. And now in the quick settings tab, which is the first tab here, you want to make sure you turn on tachyon mode. This is especially important if you're using 8000 hertz polling rate in order to achieve that true 8000 hertz polling. You want to make sure you turn on tachyon mode, which will prioritize your key press response. But in return, it's going to make your RGB a little bit dimmer. And you also can't use any RGB effects if you have tachyon mode enabled. So do keep that in mind. And then I just like to save my settings every time I make a change to the keyboard. Next, you're going to head over to actuation points. Actuation point is mostly personal preference, but I would highly recommend changing at least your WASD to at least one millimeter or below depending on your preference. If you're someone who has heavier fingers and you find yourself fat fingering your WASD a lot, you might want to put this somewhere around one millimeter. But if you're somebody who hovers above the WASD keys and you don't really find yourself pressing down accidentally, you can do even as low as 0.1. It's really up to you. You can even do 0.5 if you want a nice in-between. Personally, for my WASD keys, I like to do one millimeter. And then I like to select every other key except for my WASD, and I like to put this on two millimeters. I find that this gives me a nice balanced typing experience, so I'm not making a lot of typos. Plus, I don't need that super fast actuation on any of my other keys other than my WASD. Another thing you can do as well is you can change your Windows key to four millimeters, meaning that you have to press it down all the way. And this will make sure that you don't accidentally press your Windows key in the middle of a game. Next, you're gonna go down to Rapid Trigger. For Rapid Trigger, I do like to put this on every single key. So I like to click on Select All Keys. And then over here, I just like to turn Rapid Trigger on like that. That will turn it on for every single key. And I like to set the sensitivity to 0.15, which is the most sensitive. And I don't use a separate press or release sensitivity. And I also don't use continuous rapid trigger. But again, this is personal preference. If you find that sometimes you are accidentally letting go of a key, for example, let's say you're diffusing the spike in Valorant and you find that sometimes you accidentally let go of four, you might want to raise this up a little bit and just find a good number. But I've never had any issues on 0.15. I've never had any issues with letting go of the spike or letting go of any keys accidentally. So I really like putting everything on 0.15 for the rapid trigger. Next, for the RGB settings, obviously this is completely personal preference. But for me, I just like to select black and pretty much black out all the keys so that there's no RGB. Because personally, I'm not really a fan of RGB on my peripherals, but again, personal preference completely. And then one thing that's really cool about the Wooting 60HE V2 is that whenever you hold down the function key, it can light up the secondary keys here so you know where to press on the keyboard. For me, I don't change any volume settings, so I'm going to black these out. I'm also going to black these two because I don't change the brightness. I also don't cycle between different profiles. 
so I can black all of these out. That way these will not light up whenever I hold down my function key. And then I also make sure to go down to remap here and just clear away all of these because I don't use them. Just like that, just by right clicking on it, you can clear it out so that that function layer is gone. I do use these media control keys um, and then occasionally I do use page up, page down and all of these, so I do keep those. But yeah, everything else I do get rid of on the side here so that I don't accidentally fat finger it. And that's pretty much it. Going down to advanced keys now on the side, so for advanced keys inside of here, you can turn on SOCD depending on the game you play. This will give you an advantage in games that require heavy strafing like Overwatch. But do keep in mind that CS2 has banned SOCD, so you cannot use this in CS. You can use SOCD in Valorant still, but in Valorant it doesn't really give you that much of an advantage because in Valorant there's not momentum like there is in CS. But if you do want to turn on SOCD, all you need to do is click on it. And then for key one, we're going to put this on A. Key two, we're going to put this on D, which is our strafe keys. And then you're just going to click continue. And you're going to make sure that this is set to last input priority. And then you're just going to save it. And that is pretty much it. That's how you enable SOCD on the Wooting 60 HE. You can also mess around with dynamic keystroke, mod tap, and toggle key, but I don't use any of these features other than the mod tap for the arrow keys, of course. And then gamepad settings, I don't use any of this, but if you do, you can mess around here. But that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the best settings for the Wooting 60 HEV2. Very straightforward and simple. If you guys go to profiles, you can also click on these three dots and you can share your profile with other people and it will just copy a code. Speaking of codes, I will leave my personal code in the description below if you just want to copy my winning 60 hev 2 profile and just use it for yourself. I'll leave my code in the description below. But yeah, guys, hope this video helps. And if it did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.